Hello and welcome everybody. We are back with another episode of Psych Coffee Plays Chained Echoes. Now, yes, I finally got some good sleep. If you are, um, if you watched the last episode, you know that I was really tired and kind of pushing through some stuff here. And we got to this really difficult boss fight um, with the Bakis. There's like four of them. Can we can we scoot over without getting into a fight? I'm, I'm really scared of them. Yes. Yeah, so fighting those guys in power in the um, power armor in, in the sky armor was not easy at all. Um, so if you are keeping up to date on when these go out, I know in my post I'd said posting it by 5 p.m. And that's my goal every Friday, Saturday, Sunday to post a two hour video by 5 p.m. And obviously life stuff got in the way yesterday, so that didn't work out. And then I was looking up a guide for today to try and figure out how do I how do I get this? How do I complete this and get through these guys? And the guides were going into all this detail on how to loot all the chests and turn off all of the auto cannons in the last area we were at but not how to d defeat these guys like it goes through all of that and then it's like okay and then you get here and then there's those bakis so fight them and then afterwards you go here and i'm just like wait what no tell me more so i i was struggling to find any concrete uh strategies on how to defeat these guys other than i don't know just gearing up and being a better gear level uh, I'd rather not waste everyone's time with fighting them over and over again and getting nowhere with it. So I want to do something different. If you are watching this on Saturday, it'll probably release later than 5 p.m. at this point, unfortunately. That's just how the cards fall. Um, and the reason for that is I'm probably going to make this episode longer than an hour. We'll see how long it is at the very end. Only you know that at this point. Um, but that's because if I can... If I can, I would like to actually go loot everything in this whole area. I know, I know that's a lot. So that might be the whole episode. It really depends. I'll be maxing out at two hours. So if we loot everything and it only takes us a little bit of time, great. But if it takes us the whole two hours to do it, that's what I'm doing today. The reason is when they're explaining stuff in the guide, um, There's a lot of things that they were talking about and some of them were uh, sky armor related and that seemed really really useful to me uh, Considering how I couldn't fight that fight. So obviously trying to push through the story was not going to work um, I don't really think that we need to level our guys up in terms of Stats the reason I say that is mostly because they I Don't think that transfers over to sky armor like, if I want my Sky Armor to be useful, I need to get better gear for it. That's how I see it. I need better gear for my Sky Armor. And that's about it. That's that's all I can really think of to be effective. So we're going to go through each map. Luckily, we have that little chest counter there, which makes it so nice to see. Um, and we are going to get every chest both on this left map here in the in the castle thing and then we're going to go to the right and we're going to turn off all of the cannons there's six of them we're going to turn all of those off and grab all the chests there because there's at least a few sky armor pieces that could really help us out and at the end of that that might be the end of our episode today who knows i'm not sure I'm going to do my best to try and kind of go through it quickly so we can get back on track with the story but after we do that then we're going to go fight the Bakis again, and hopefully we're going to finally beat them and move forward here. Um, I understand that um, sitting here watching me just kind of collect all the chests isn't the most entertaining. So if you want to take it as kind of like a, here's a guide on where everything is, you can do that if you want to. Um, I'll obviously be making little comments and stuff as I go. Oh, there's a there's a shopkeep here. Hmm. Well, I guess we could start off by selling some of our old stuff. Is this old stuff? Wait, wait, no, no, no. That's new stuff. Wait, did I not equip them with the new stuff? I equipped hers. But not you. Oops. Hold up. It looks like we have some equipment issues. Also, if we find a, um, 
an anvil. I'd love to upgrade everyone's stuff if possible. I don't even know if it's possible. We have enough gold for an upgrade or two. We just don't have a lot of mats. I'd say that's probably the one downfall to this game, if anything. And I don't even know if you can consider it a downfall. It's more like a, as someone who's trying to do a let's play of the game, it's a downfall. And it's mostly just that there's a lot of, hey, go back through this area you've been through a bunch of times and well, we're gonna have to fight these guys to get to that, I think. But it's like, go back through here and collect all the chests and go back through here and do all these side quests and stuff like that so that you can level up your guys a bit more. Okay, what are we what are we looking at? Earth weakness, dark weakness. But these no one's strong to to um we might switch out Glenn is what I'm trying to say with Bathraz. Um Is anyone what are you guys strong against? light and wind so no wind jump but we could do water jump if we make them all dry we could do that let's do drunken master as always we have our little frame drop right at the beginning there i'm glad we're all used to that at this point we don't have our ultra move we're actually going to switch right over to the thras here and we're going to start using the dark I, I wish at this point now that i had gotten the i think there's an all attack for darks for the dark spear. No, no, no. It's for the light, I think. And it's um, it's something else. We're going to start attacking him, though. Because he's weak to it, so we may as well. Boost our criticals. We're doing okay. All right, his turn. Yeah, inflicts dry. Wait, no, no, no. If I remember right... I think when you do dry, is it water skills do more? Or is it when you inflict wet water skills do more? I can't remember. We're gonna find out. I can't remember if it's reverse or not, you know? Dry with water or is it dry with wind and then wet with wind or wet with water? I can't remember. Uh, let's find out together. All right, cool. So dry with water. I, I feel like I've done that before. <laughs> Had to figure that out before I forgot. Nice, I love that counter, it's so good. Okay, how are we doing on health? Everyone's pretty high up on their health and ours is getting low. It's a lot of guys to fight here. Should we... 1.8 damage. We're start inflicting bleed? That's good. Well, why don't we just do that? At least the soldiers won't be able to attack for one turn, so that's good. Makes them heavy. Uh, let's just focus on getting rid of them. There we go. Are they... No. Unfortunately, they're not under the dry effects anymore. So I'm just going to hit them with another jump. Still does good damage. He's going to hit all with dry. I hope that we last. I just realized my healing is pretty low. I should have, ah, if I was being really strategic and thinking about it, I would have switched Lene out with my healer. Still haven't figured out, I, haven't, I don't remember her name. Um, and then healed everyone up and then switched back to Lene after doing the dry again. I gotta get good at that swapping characters. I, I don't swap enough. Okay, cool. We're going to the blinds. Oh, they're overheat. Got to pay attention to that. Well, we can do this. That'll help. They're so tanky. We have to do this for the overdrive. We should survive. Sir, can you not? How about, how about no? That's what you get. Yeah, that's what you get. Mmm, I don't like this. I don't want to... Can't steal anything from them anyways. We're just gonna... Try and get rid of this guy then. That's okay. That's alright. Nice. Nice. We even got a counter out of it. Let's do that. Can't do much... Well, I, <laughs> I could have swapped. I forget about swapping. Oh, 
There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's a good warm up battle. We got a, a bow. Don't we have that bow already? Yeah, we do. Okay. We still have two more chests around here. Where haven't we explored? I guess the, the northern area and then this far right. I thought we explored the far right area, but I was kind of... I was kind of tired, so I don't remember too much. If I'm being completely honest with you guys. Strong suit. Oh, we got an anvil. How quickly could we upgrade something? I guess I want to focus on... Who got the new stuff? You? Not enough to do it. Who, who's even able to? We could upgrade Glenn's weapon. Or her katana. That'd probably be better. She does a lot of damage. They're both with platinum ore, aren't they? So we wouldn't be able to upgrade both of them. That one too, but we never use him, so I'm not really too concerned right now with that. He probably could be really useful if we spent the time like grinding out, uh, finding people to can and stuff so we could get him all his skills back, but I just, uh. Let's, let's do Sienna. And he, he can't now, right? Yeah, okay. Any armors really quickly that we can upgrade? Yes, that's what I want to upgrade right now is Killian. Yeah, I, I can't believe he's still in the in the UI. Like, we could upgrade his stuff. Why would you waste something on that? I don't know. Um, There was one or two weapons that we had just gotten that don't have anything. So, while it may not be the thing we want the most, we may as well put something in there, like fire resistance. Human killer, that'd actually be really good right now, considering where we're at and who we're fighting a lot of. Debuff has a 50% chance to hold longer for three turns. Does she have a debuff thing? Counter mind. Increases your mind. Paralyze resistance. Restores TP. Reduces TP costs. Is that one worth it for one? Because we won't be able to put two into her uh, spear with that. I think I just... You know what? That's actually good. Everything she does is um, TP related, so. Let's go with that. And then Bathraz. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to make sure we remember this. I put on Dispel Hit for her gun because it has that spread shot that it can hit everyone. So let's say that everyone is buffed with something and oh no, we're struggling here. I pull her out and I use the multi shot on the gun. That means there's now a 5% chance on every single enemy of uh, their buffs being taken away. So I think that that's pretty useful as kind of like uh, trying to sweep away some of those buffs, hopefully. Will it work? I don't know. Claw master? We don't... It's not a claw, though. Right? I, I hope I'm not wrong that this... No, that's a... I don't know what a claw is, to be honest, in this game. Dark resistance, light resistance, fire resistance. That'd be good. Let's just do that. Normally, I do this stuff on the side, but I figured I'd be going really quick here. So it wouldn't matter too much. We'll just do that really quick for anything that we can do. And we're going to move on. Okay. We still have one chest. Where would that be? Also, where does that door go to? If you look at the very south, south, southern end of the map here. Like, I'm not sure where that goes. And then there's that far right area where it said to try and stay away from the Valkyrie. So let's do this. I kind of know where I'm going now. We're going to check out this area. Oh, here it is. How did I miss this? I ran through here. 
I thought I ran through here. I guess not. That's all the chests. Okay. And then... I don't think we can... Yeah, we can't go that way because of the Valkyrie. I wonder if the same holds if we went back. Should we go back? I'm going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. Maybe there's some good loot down that way. Or a cannon even, maybe. We'll probably have to fight some guards and that's okay. This is all about kind of getting ourselves set up for the stronger battles. Because obviously... Nope. Nope. Oh. Glenn, how could you... Can I scoop by them? <laughs> nope. Glenn is super noping right now. All right. What, well, what's over here? A oh, man. Valandis's greatest pride was once the Mage Academy of Nysa, and even today people speak of it with fervor. Before that, Valandis was an isolated place with only a few mining villages. The reason why the founders of Nysa chose such a random location to open the greatest academy of all time is still a mystery. Is this lore? Are these lore people? I'm gonna kinda I'm gonna do that for this guy too, so if you guys really want to know the lore, you can pause for two seconds and read it. Hmm. Thank you, game, for the lore dump. We appreciate it. I actually find the lore in this game to be kind of cool. I'm not sure how the story is going to unfold further on, but honestly, like, it's a really good setup for, um, for future games, I would say. You know, like, being able to... Like, there's multiple different island nations with different stories and backgrounds and stuff. I'd love for this to be on Valandis and then for there to be a separate story on a different island and, you know, yada yada, like a couple more of those maybe. And then maybe some sort of mishmash of like, guess what? It's Glenn as an old man and he's here with... Um, Victor, who's the same age because he's an R, blah, blah, blah. Like, that'd be really cool. Um, but then it's with these other characters from the other stories. Like, I, I'd love to see that. That's way down the line. But I'll be paying attention to Chain Echoes in the future for sure. Okay. Here we are. Let's begin our treasure hunt. There are 13 chests. And if I remember right from the guide... Um, this is going to spoil some of the loot stuff too, by the way. So, if you're not interested in that, if you really want a blind run of finding all the loot i'd recommend that you don't watch i guess i hate to say don't watch but anyways the guide pretty much talks about you can you have to you have to take out all the cannons because seven of the chests are like locked up behind that i think Did, we went this way already right yeah and we turned off this So that's one. I'm pretty sure that's the only one we've done. Okay. Hopefully we don't have to fight those Baki again down there. I hope that didn't reset. I like that the game was like, it's optional for you to have to fight. Um, or to turn off the cannons, and then it's like, actually, it's it's probably really good for you to do that. There's a lot of loot that you're going to want. Pirate gun. Oh, look, more of these guys. I'd, ra I'd rather not, really. She has a gun. We can put on the pirate gun. I'm just upset because I really like that uh that crystal. How, how good is... Oh, it's ten. Ten more attack and magic. Well, that's worth it. That's worth it. I know. I know. I, I like the idea of dispelling stuff, but it's worth it to have even more damage. Especially for her. She doesn't deal a ton as it is. How do we get there? Will we fight those Baki? Maybe? I think there's only three of them there, and it'd be good to kind of... Oh. Hi. Don't mind us. We're, don't... don't. Don't, nope, we're good, really. Yep, everything's fine here. Yeah. 
again, we're we're just passing through. It's all good. We're we're supposed to be here. Nope, we're not the attackers at all. Should we go fight the other Baki? I, I might at some point so that we can kind of. Um, what is that? One, two, three guns. But yeah, I'm, we might go fight those Baki just so that we have something that we can do that's not just running around doing this. Give you guys an, a fight to watch. Keep it entertaining. Keep it mixed up. I think this might be another one. We have three cannons so far done. There's still 11 chests. My word, there's so many chests. Let's be prepared. Man, they set all these guys up. But, um... Their range isn't... The highest. I'm not gonna fight them if I don't have to. Especially because all these guys to fight are Sky Armor fights. And... That's four, by the way. I don't know. Like, I don't think that there's levels to sky armor, right? It's, well, there is kind of, but once you, let's optimize the party, by the way, just in case there's something that needs to change. I don't think so, though. Can we look at some of the stuff? Proficiencies? There we go. So, like, Glenn. He's actually... Why are you level 2 in all of this stuff? I don't know how he ended up being level 2 in the rest of it, but okay. I mean, fine by me. I think that those boosts only happen when you're using the weapon, though. Like, the defense and stuff, so... But for Greatsword, he's maxed out. Same with Bowgun, he's maxed out. I don't really want to change it either. I think that he actually works really well having what he has. I don't really want to mix it up. What does Bathraz have? He has the elemental cannon that does all those elements. Wouldn't I want to give that to someone like Sienna? It do, I mean, I'm not going to do it right now, but in the comments, if, if you're aware, I'm not sure if any of you are aware, but if you are aware, let me know. Um, like, let's say I switched out Bathraz. Let's say that I put... Uh, Lene into a sky armor. Like, could I do that? Number one. And if I did, would it be beneficial at all? Like, would she be doing more damage with like the fire shot, wind shot and stuff or, or no? It, Cause I don't think that it really affects anything. There's a reason they put these guys in the sky armor. I, I imagine. Anyways, let's come down here. A bit more stuff to get, more things to do. A halberd. We just got this. And we just put a crystal in it too. How could you? This is what I get for not exploring everything first. They said there's something over here too. Ooh. Well, hello. What are you? You're going to be seeing a lot of this happening in the, uh, this episode. Just as we start setting stuff up. Who is... Oh! Oh yeah, I'm glad we're doing this then. You're telling me more health, more attack, more magic, and more defense. It's a hefty amount of health too. Oh wait, no. The question's already been answered. Um, I'm looking at it now. It's like, how, how do you... You can't. Like, these four can use the, the Sky Armors, and that's it. Like, you can change which Sky Armor they use, but you can't, like, give Linnea a Sky Armor. I guess that kind of makes sense since she's a Valkyrie, right? She's, like, the anti-Sky Armor unit. What is all this? Like, a monster? Just in case. Oh, okay. It looks like there's some sort of beast that's supposed to be sitting here. Or was here at one point. Did, did we get them all? Oh, we did. So we can actually just do this now. Oh. 
I feel like I'm about to do an Iron Man thing. Oh. I should probably do this too. Also, I didn't know that left... Left... Wait. I could have done that this whole time. So, you can just access the quest board by pressing uh, LT on the controller. I feel dumb. But that's cool. How do we... I, I guess maybe over here. All cannons are destroyed. We can fly now. Yes. Now we have to fight a whole bunch of these guys, but if I remember right, it's not that hard. Um, they were saying, they were actually talking about this one in the guide. They're like, yeah, you gotta fight all these guys so it's not that bad. Um, I wonder if they're all gonna be attacking Victor now. Let's see if they do. Sienna is gonna charge up and do leg sweep on all of them. That's gonna be fun. Glenn, Berserker mode. We're in Sky Armor. I don't think we have much to worry about, to be quite honest. This will be... <laughs> this is cathartic after the... Um, after the Baki fights where they punch you once and you just die. Wow. Like, it, it doesn't even tickle. This is hilarious. They're all... <laughs> they're all sitting here like, oh no, we got them. So... <laughs> All right. All right, hammer and shield upgrade and another sky armor upgrade. I'm glad, I'm so glad we're doing this. I'm glad that they allow you to do it too. Um, settings, you got the Paris upgrade, nice. And then who has hammer and shield, Victor? Well, you get an upgraded hammer and shield. What does that even add? I don't know. Well, we're flying again. We still have five more chests to get. Oh, cool. You don't encounter enemies. Haha. -ha. You guys can just sit right there. Be silly. I'm going to fly around until I find all the loot. This is where we started. Oh, another um, super light armor piece. How did we miss that one? I don't know. Agamemnon. Oh, okay. Another sky armor upgrade. Those of you that have been playing this game already maybe got past this point when I was like, hey, I'm not going to get the chest. I'm not going to do this stuff. Whatever. Let's continue on. You're probably yelling at me like, no. No, go do it. You'll die. Maybe not, but now we all know. There's still three more of these around here. Where? Um, somewhere out in the ocean? It's a lot of map to cover. I'm going to be hitting that map button a lot, so I apologize in advance for that. Where could we be missing? Here? In this little greenery area, maybe? No? I could look at the uh, guide again. They are all outside. And we, we did have seven left when we got to flying around, so I'm pretty sure that means that they're... Well, this one we could get without having to fly, so that's not true. Kind of systematically covering all of this. I don't think we've missed any. I'm gonna move left. Oh, there's that little island area down in the um, below that little number one on the map there. If you saw that, let's go that way. We'll fly over all of this real quick. See if there's anything here. I doubt it. This is where we came from to continue forward. And then you come down here. Yeah. Some dragon mail. Another sky armor upgrade. That's wonderful. Nope, not it. 
Okay, so we got all the sky armors upgraded. Doing that. That's awesome. You're Merlin. Wait, wait, wait. We got a whole new sky armor. Wait, the Kerberos. I need to compare this. All right, so Kerberos would make him do have more for his attack and defense, and his crit would go up. Okay, so that tells me it might be Sienna's then. How does that do? Reduces agility, increases defense, increases health. Doesn't do much for his health. Maybe I give her the armor that Glenn currently has. The Paris armor. And Glenn equips the Kerberos. Since he's so... It, like, his magic doesn't matter, right? He doesn't really do anything magic. Not compared to everyone else. I mean, I guess Sienna too. So that's why I'd probably give her the Paris armor. It wouldn't change her critical. It, it has more negatives than good. It reduces her TP. It reduces her... Agility, those are both very important. It only gives her 300 health points, and for Sky Armor, that's not really much. If anything, giving her Glenn's Paris Armor would be better. Let's see, how do, how do the rest compare? Victor's attack and magic would go up, but his defense and mind would go down, which we don't want because of his healing abilities. His agility would go up, which is nice, but I don't think that it's worth it in the long run. Maybe we give Victor. This armor doesn't seem that great. Actually, he has a lot of health. Never mind. That's that's pretty good. How about this one? How about Bathraz? Bathraz does a lot of magic stuff, so I don't think it's good for his magic and mind to go down. Yeah, I think it works best for for Glenn. The stuff that it does change. Uh, for the better, like his stuff that he really utilizes um, and the stuff that it reduces isn't very important to him. So he's going to get the Kerberos armor. And with that, now we need to look at everyone else's in comparison to the Paris armor. So Victor loses a lot of health. He doesn't really need, he needs his defenses. The agility is nice, but he needs his defenses. We'll have to see. He, maybe he'll get someone else's armor. Let's look at Bathra's. Let's see. Less TP is not good. More attack is nice. Less mind and magic. Only one point to agility and only two po 200 points to HP. That's, it's It doesn't make up for the lack of stuff that he's losing. At least in terms of, I'd say, the magic and mind. And for Sienna... Her agility goes down, her critical goes down. Both of those are key components of Sienna. Her attack goes down, her TP goes down. What does she gain in return? A little bit of defense in mind and a little bit of HP. So that's a, that's a no-go. That's not as good. The only person that I can think of this being at all useful for would be Victor. But even then, he loses a lot in the... Uh... He, yeah, he just loses a lot. He gains a little bit of agility, but at the cost of a lot of health and defense. But then again, that might actually be worth it. All right, hear me out on this logic, and then we'll we'll continue on here real quick. My logic for him having this is, and this is kind of nerd stats, so sorry. For those of you not into that, he loses his health, he loses some defense, but that doesn't matter, especially when fighting things like Bakis, because him... Going less often means less heals for the entire party, which means they all just die. The more often he goes, the more often he can he can use the heal function, he can use other functions, which makes up for the defense and stuff. Because if he has to sit there while the enemy gets to go twice, then they get two attacks on him, which doesn't really help. Like, it doesn't matter if he has high defense and health, if he's getting attacked twice, especially by something like that. So let's try this. I'm literally doing that. Oh, man. 
how much def okay def it's hard to mm, 20 points for mind 20 points for defend couple like 300 points for hp i don't but he loses out on how much attack again like 20 to 30 points and then the three agility let's try it it makes him a little bit more aggro and we'll see if that's better or not you know what we could go test it i said we were going to do a fight right there's those bakis we got all of this stuff oh wow this armor is so cool wait a minute hold up Okay, so it kept the color scheme. Dude looks like a Gundam, like a straight up Gundam. Maybe not. I'm not I don't know that too well, so I don't want to anger the Gundam fans here. But he looks cool. <laughs> they all look really cool. Oh, that's the difference. He's not wearing a cape. Everyone else is wearing capes. What is this one called again? The Kerberos? I like it. All right, we're gonna fight these guys. It's three Bakis. This is a good way to test ourselves. Also, we're gonna go ahead and hit up a save point. Just because we got all of the chests and we kinda wanna have a save point to rely on. All right. Let's see how we do with all of our upgrades, if this is any easier. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and try and say that it's gonna be super easy. I think we need to do energy flow. It's important to hit all of them, kill them fast. So taking a hit right now so that we can set up to hit them all with a lot of damage is gonna be better. For Sienna, she needs to charge. We need to stay in gear one until we're actually going to fight them because we're gonna take so much damage from the hits. Like this, like that. He barely survived, but here's the key. He did survive and that is definitely different than it used to be. All right, we're gonna quick repair. So that Victor doesn't have to focus on that so much. Let's see if maybe that helps. Did it work? It doesn't even look like that worked. He was supposed to like aggro them all, but it doesn't look like it did anything. Well, anyways, gear two. Blind? Let's do blind. Set everyone up a little bit more. Because their next attack's not going to count for anything. It's like they all knew that they were blinded, so they just used counters. Of course they did. All right. Go into attack mode. Victor. He's gonna do that. Let's see how bad this counter is. Is he always gonna counter? Yes. And with that super iron fist, of course. Okay, I have to be really careful with this once they're in that counter mode. Um, I wonder if they're all going to counter because of that. No? Okay. Kind of scared me there. Unable to act. Unable to act. Okay. Nice. Get rid of him. Heal everyone up. Difficult? Yes. Unobtainable? No. It's actually, if we're really smart about this fight, we can do it. I could also use Glenn and on his first turn hit one with poison and then on Sienna's first turn hit one with overload instead of trying to set up for a multi-shot it's still two turns but it's in the same thing and it, it hurts them all before they can go so maybe let's charge up though see how they react I guess like yeah they're, they're still really tough but we are surviving their attacks which is good that's the hardest part right there i can't believe that he survived that okay 
All right, I feel a lot more confident. I don't know about you guys, but doing that, I feel a lot more confident. Let's test it out one more time now. Like I said, we're gonna go longer on this episode anyway, so it's fine. And we're gonna test it on Sky Armor. Let's see how easy it is to take these guys out. I, I was looking at these guys like, man, they're so difficult. Then you fight the Bakis and you're like, actually, I'd prefer to fight like a thousand Sky Armor over those Bakis. All right, so let's charge. And then Glenn. How long does the poison last? For five turns. Let's just do counter. Berserk does energy flow. They're going to get to go before he goes again. Sienna gets to go up first. Let's try it. I kind of want to try that one out. So we're going to hit him with poison. And then we'll use Sienna to use that over override or whatever to sort of spread it around. What does this do? It's a decent amount of damage. Weak to wind, so we'll go attack mode. That overheat won't last forever. Uh, overload, or overchar, or gear two, then overload. Nice, okay. And how long are they poisoned for? Just one turn. So it is a little bit better if I do energy flow than poison salvo because then everyone's inflicted for five turns, but still being able to inflict them for one turn is better than nothing. Go ahead and throw in berserk mode so that we can take them out. We need to heal up if we live. Glenn is still barely alive, but he's alive. I feel like upgrading everyone's armor is what we needed to do because, I mean, Glenn's down, down now, but they're surviving just that one extra hit, which is all I really needed. Okay, who are we going to go gear two? They're weak to wind. These guys are tough. He's almost dead. I don't have anything that attacks multiple people. He goes up next. I mean, I guess I just... Take him out then. Make sure he's gone. Gain HP after kill? Hold on, I might be upgrading some of my rams here. Sienna? I'm gonna start prioritizing enemies here. Never mind, she's down too. Get Glenn back up if we can. Glenn, you might be our punching bag. <laughs> oh, there goes Bathraz. Oh, this this turned really quickly to not good. Um Get rid of that guy. Ooh, what do I do here? Revive Sienna. She's got the high agility. Yeah, you're gonna hit us all. So knocks them almost all down, but not completely. Item. Uh, Bethraz. Hopefully she doesn't do the thing again. Okay, she just shot. Victor, that's okay. One shot. Get out of gear two. Item. Do I really want to use this when I have those Bakis to fight? Not really. There's a lot of skills too. This is not good. Now or never. Oh boy, we're dead. I should have been more aggressive. We can do this. We can do this. 
That wasn't too bad of a fight. I was just not being aggressive enough. Yes, I want to fight them on foot. That's how I want to fight all my battles in this game. That'll work lovely. All right, we're just going to we're going to do this. We're going to poison them all first. You're going to charge up. We're not going to worry so much about this spreading out the poison. That doesn't that doesn't work very well. Start with this guy, kind of work our way down the line, getting them all hit with defensive break. Already overheating. That's okay, because he can go straight into gear two and use wind shot and do it on the guy that's defenses are low. Glenn is gonna go into overdrive now and poison all of them. And if I'm right, they'll all take about the amount of damage that they just took every turn. I think. She charged up. Hit everyone. It's gonna take out that sword and shield dude. Oh yeah, we just weren't being aggressive enough. We're hurting. But when we uh when we get on the back foot, as they might say, that's when you lose. Because look at how, how damaged they are now. Yeah, I just I needed to be a lot more aggressive. Yeah, see, much easier. Much easier this time. Okay, good to know, good to know. Same with the Baki fight. It's a little bit more strategic, but I still just need to be really aggressive with it. I mean, we're making good time. This is where we need to be? Yeah. But yeah, we're making really good time, actually. We may even get that Baki fight done and it's still an hour. Uh, tiny little spoiler. Um, I think if we do the Baki fight, I'm going to call it there. Like it, once we get the Baki fight done. The reason for that, and this is a little spoiler, it's not story spoiler, it's just what's coming up next. After the Baki fight, I won't say how, when, why, but there is a boss encounter that comes up rather soon after that. Um, so I kind of set myself up to have enough time to do all of this stuff here. And if I had to push the time frame on this video, I could, but if we can still get it in about an hour, that would really be useful. So we're going to try and do that. All right. We're back where we're at now. Finally feeling a lot more confident in this. This is going to be a tough battle though. This may take a couple tries. So we'll see. Maybe we'll get it done the first try. As always, she's going to charge up, but we're going to try and stick in gear one while we're setting up because they hit so hard. And as always, we're going to rely on RNG because if all three of them hit Sienna, she would just be gone already, right? So, and there's no way of really knowing that. We're not going to worry about counter because the counter is not going to do as much damage as poison will in the long run. But then Balthraz is going to get... You know what? Should we use him cautiously? Because I could jump to gear two with water shot and start hurting them. But I think, I think I'm going to quick repair. It's going to overheat us. That's okay. We're actually going to put Victor into gear two and hit one of them with defense break. Okay. Gear two for Sienna. Hit all of them. Defense break guys should take a lot of damage. Plus we got a critical, so that's a lot of damage. That's good. Counter stance. I don't think that they do anything when we're poisoning them. We're gonna do this. We're actually gonna do blind first so that everyone else can get a turn to hurt them more before they all get damaged. And then when Glenn comes back up again, we'll do poison next time. I'm trying to be really strategic about this. Nice, 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 nice. Good hits, couple criticals. Everyone's countering. That's fine by me. And then should we quick repair? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna let Victor do a repair. We're going gear two. Water shot. 
on him. Hopefully we kill him or at least get him to a point where the poison kills him. My one concern right now is that he he lives. No, even if he lives and counters with the iron fist combo thingy, he's blind. So now is the time to actually hit him. There we go. Actually, now that I think about it, now's the time to hit all of them. Because even if they countered, they're blind, so I think they can't hit me. I think. We're gonna find out right now. Okay, awesome, awesome. That's, that's, that's beautiful. Do I try and hit all of them? I mean, I may as well. Because they're gonna counter it, but it's gonna mostly be useless because they're gonna miss yeah oh okay now we hit them all with poison which should hurt them and then the poison should do the rest of the work hopefully yeah a mixture of like high strategy oh it's close he's gone okay okay this is important we do have three turns though we just have to live until they die. The poison should take them out really soon. Killing that guy brings us down to one, but still, as we found out before, one guy could take us out with that super attack. So we're just going to repair Glenn. He, he has like a lot of durability. And repair all. We just gotta survive. And there he goes, okay. Oh, all right, we did it. What are we at? We're not even at an hour. Not even at an hour. We may as well continue on, get to the point where it's like, oh, here's the boss battle. I'm gonna save though. Man, we are making progress. How are you guys feeling about this? I I'm excited. I, I honestly came into this episode being like, uh-oh, uh-oh. Like, oh no, how are we gonna do this? <clears throat> oh, story mode, okay, here we go. Celestia. Your cruel game has come to an end, brother. I never thought I would see your face in the ranks of my enemy. You torment our people, Frederick. Your ranks are full of hatred. There's no place for me. The people have to suffer so that we have the means to defend ourselves against Nebrelia. That's a lie. Your means are for the Grand Grimoire and generals with the power of gods. What reason could there be for you to increase the levies and to make our people suffer? You have forfeited your right to hear these reasons. Someone who prostitutes her loyalty is not fit to be this kingdom's princess. Our ties are shattered. You are no sister to me anymore. Using all... Ought to forge your kingdom, aren't you, Frederick? Like the Grand Grimoire in Wernshire, you used human lives as fuel for your weapon, didn't you? You want answers, Celestia? You should have learned by now that only the victors deserve answers. Bodyguards, to my side. Try and win your answers. You know what? We're going to give this a shot. We are going to give this at least one good try. And as always, we have our ultra move with Glenn, so you know what's going to happen next. I love the little machine that he builds here. Just every time he builds this little machine, he just does a one-two combo on them. It's great. It's a good way to start off, too. They're going to hit for less, and then we're going to hit for more. I'm going to start by boosting everyone's crits. There we go. I love this music. This is awesome. This game's interesting in that, like, you want to be defensive, but it really punishes you if you're too defensive. Like, you need to be able to kind of step out and um, go hard on hitting on hitting guys. Because sometimes the enemy, like, the worst thing you can do is leave them alive for too long. Okay. They're already hit with all that stuff. Should we hit them? What, what are their weaknesses? Weak to wind. Oh, they're, they're separate. Strong against wind, strong against earth, and then vice versa for their weaknesses. 
Okay. He's paralyzed too. Awesome. Hit them with this. Cross slash. Cross slash has more opportunities for criticals. But that's 2.2. And if you do the math on this, there's three hits at 0.7. Totals to 2.1, I believe. So this is technically the more damagey, unless you hit criticals. So it's kind of dependent on what you want. What do we want to get rid of first? Probably, probably this guy, because both Lene and Victor have wind stuff. So it'd be easier to hit this guy with both of them. Only 500. I almost wish I did cross slash. Oh well. X slash on both of them now. We want to get the bleed going. They're not hitting for too much right now, which is good. Like I said, focus on him for her because she can hit the weakness. He's paralyzed. That's awesome. We already buffed ourselves. We'll go ahead and get the defense so that we're not dying. Nice critical. Another critical. Awesome. Perfect timing on the overdrive, too. We should probably pull out Rob and hit them with poison at this point. Their debuffs are gone now, by the way. It's not going to help with the overheat too much. It's okay, let's switch out like this. Just for a minute here. Oh yeah, I forget. He's got the... Um, I put on uh, a skill that gives him some damage, like an elemental damage to his, his attacks. I think it's water, so that means that the dry hit him. That works for me. Do, so he's no longer got the dry thing, so we'll do that on him. May as well use that to our advantage. Gonna want to heal up soon, though. Oh, they're doing a two, a two for attack. Okay, Lene's not dead yet, which is good. What do we need to do? A magic attack? Yeah, we can do that. We want to get our overheat down, because that's how they're going to kill us. Who We've been really focusing on him. He's got a lot of debuffs, though. Alright, Glenn. We, yeah, we're going to do that. And then swap. I still don't know what that does fully. Revive. Oh man, she's got good revives. Inflict wet. Which would make wind attacks do even more damage. Could be useful. On both of them? I mean, it could be really useful. Heal everybody for a little bit. I mean, we'd mostly. Let's just do this. Wow, that like full healed him. That's awesome. Who's got poison? You do. You got bleed. I'm gonna hit you with poison now too. Mm, what are we gonna do here? Oh, he's gone. Nice. Oh, these guys weren't bad at all. 
the Bakis were harder than these guys. Awesome. Ah. Are you all right? No. I... I've read fate wrong. I've got to warn Glenn. What's going on? It's Princess Celestia. Her, her life's in danger. Impossible. How strong are you? Tell me, Frederick. Do you really want to build a kingdom based on hatred? I'm doing it so Valandis can finally find its peace. The only peace you bring is the one accompanied by death. The war in Valandis has never been about the people, but about power, and you are the same as the previous kings. Always so quick to judge. How can you think... How can you think you can accomplish anything without getting your hands dirty? The hatred in Valandis runs deep. If we split the country again, the eternal circle of war will begin anew. I found a way to break it. But for this, I need to pay a certain price. A price I pay most gladly. Enough of these empty words, Frederick. Where's the Grand Grimoire? Glenn. Glenn? You have to save Celestia. Open the door. Look into the maelstrom. What? Open the door. Ah. What is this pain? What are you doing to me? Timothy. I can't anymore. Don't die, Lene. You can't die. You can't leave me alone. Sick woman. You have to take good care of Rob. Do you understand, Gustav? Promise me. I will. So you're the last of them. Wait, what are we doing here? Oh, we're going through all their stuff. What do you what you did to the people? What you did to my son. I will never forgive you. I'm going to kill you. Bartholomew, all of Nysa sinking, and all its wisdom with it. Oh, young Victor. Master, we have to leave. It's not safe here anymore. Look at this mess. They've gone insane, Victor. You can't leave us. You have obligations. Sienna? Sienna, you were part... Oh, I didn't know that. That's so cool. Leave the demon's work to demons. I won't partake in this. Think it over, Sienna. You have no evidence. You'll be labeled a heretic. No wonder she can fight so well. Oh, no. Look at yourselves. It was not the poison that sealed your fate, but your ambitions. Yo, she poisoned them all. What are these scenes? Very good, Glenn. Keep it open. Keep the door open until I get there. Your Highness? Maria? I always knew you were good for nothing, Celestia. But that you would one day raise your weapon against your own brother is something even I never would have expected. He gave me no choice. Silence. You will pay for this, Celestia. No, wait. Ah. Lene. Uh, this looks bad, right? Don't talk. Amalia, help her. I, I think I'm beyond saving. Frederick, I love you, but you... You have to stop... She's... she's dead. Impossible. She's not supposed to die here.
Um, we are free, brothers. Our vessel is broken, our power unleashed. But we are too early. Our plan has failed. It was not yet time for her to die. We could sacrifice ourselves and turn back time. The lives of three gods for the price of just a few seconds. But fate would take the same course. She would die again. Then our plan has failed. She was the last of the maidens. The harbinger, harbinger will win. Very well then, let us proceed with the destruction of the world. What is going on? Do you hear that, brothers? Look, in this period of stasis, where even the planet has stopped spinning, this boy can move. Is this part of her plan? Is fate playing with us? Listen well, young man. The fact that your knees are trembling with fear at this very moment has saved the world from its end. When the previous moments repeat themselves shortly, you will have the chance to change fate. Change fate? Now, we offer our lives so that she can live again. Our blood calls for hers. You must protect her, lad. Do you hear us? If she dies again, it's all over. What was that? I always knew you were good for nothing, Celestia. But that you would one day raise your weapon against your own brother is something even I never would have expected. He gave me no choice. What is going on? Silence. You will pay for this, Celestia. No, wait. Glenn? What reaction speed? Not bad. Hold on, Maria. Your Highness? It must be because he can control Sky Armor that he's able to have a reaction speed like that. A Sky Armor? No. This is an old relic. A Seraph Armor. I'm too late. What folly of mine. It's you, Gwen. Good job, Glenn. You've saved Celestia's life. What was that? What were those beings? Here, take the stone. Now get out of here. What are you doing, Gwen? Saving your life, your majesty. But... Let's get out of here. Let them go, Maria. I will let them go. Three of Vain had to die just because I was too slow. Is my strength fading or was I too foolish? What? Oh, we finished Act 2. <clears throat> I guess we'll, we'll wrap up Act 2 here and then whenever we're back to playing again, I'll, I'll save and stuff. So we're going to go through all the story. Don't worry. I'm not going to cut you off on that. The news of victory over Nebrelia spread throughout the world. Valandis became a frightening neighbor to many. For his lords and knights, King Frederick I of Terran organized feasts and showered them with land and gold. All the while, the common people stayed behind in the shadows of the bonfires, listening to their family's death cries that howled louder than the wind. The king had won the war, but he had lost the love of his people. Celestia was officially branded a traitor by her brother. The story told was that she was the illegitimate child of the late queen and some disloyal soldier. From a historical perspective, this narrative would turn out to be a grave mistake on Frederick's part as it gave the resistance groups across the country a guiding light to follow. 
Thus, it happened that more and more resistors sought out Hermit's Isle to fight alongside the Crimson Wings and against King Frederick. This game's epic. I love this game. <clears throat> and so the times were darker than ever before. Calamity struck Eldria and threw it into a spiral of terror and fear. Famines, wars, and the Black Death killed hundreds of thousands. Darkness started to guide people's fates, and it was from this darkness that evil manifested itself. It is said that in the beginning this evil was nothing but a starving boy, but it knew how to satisfy its hunger from the suffering and grief around it. The boy became a man, then a monster, eventually a demon, and finally something beyond anything imaginable. It became a willless force of evil that swept over the land and destroyed everything. Our ancestors, the great heroes around Leonor, faced it, but even they stood no chance against the sheer emptiness. Instead of killing it, they had no choice but to banish the Harbinger into a prison with the help of the Vayan. Ooh, his speech doesn't seem to have an end. Uh, let him have it. He only gets to do it once a year, after all. Ah, uh, if it isn't my beloved H03, how are you faring? I'm doing great, Lord Van. I... I didn't know you'd be here. You're locked up in this palace like a nun. There are not many opportunities for me to see my fiancé. Oh, right. How could I forget? I'm already counting the days. It'll be the biggest wedding ever given to a maiden. Sounds promising. Getting married's really fun. Hey, Timothy, let's get out of here. What? I can't stand it here. Neither the speech nor this guy, Van. Move. Excuse me. Love you too. <laughs> Great, no one's here. I've always wanted to try these puzzles. But your lessons in passing these trials won't begin until next year. Oh, don't be like that. I just want to get a taste of it so I don't embarrass myself in front of the others later. Fine. Ahem. So, let me officially welcome you. These are the trials that you'll find in sanctuaries, such as Shambhala. If you pass them, you'll be granted entry and can access equipment and gold that has been deposited for you by the Order. Also, it is there that you can contact our allies, the Vayan. They will... I already know all that. Let's get started. New skills. Excuse me, new skills. Wait, game... It's a, you, you're telling me new skills, but you're not letting me... Okay. Your goal is to push the red orb into the golden plate. You can reset the orb by stepping on the blue plate. I want to save, but it won't let me access the menu, so I guess we're going to just keep going until we get to a point where we're done. Yeah. Please let me... Please let... No. All right, we're going to finish this dream then. When you give it a push, the orb flies until it hits a target. Use the blocks to get the orb into the goal. Can I push this? No. This is portal now. Oh! I broke it. Oh no, the orb. It's broken. I get it. I get it. I don't know why they're teaching me this mechanic. The breakable blocks break only if the orb hits it, so an orb next to a block can't break it. Oh, and orbs can stop each other. Good to know. <laughs> Wait, how do I do this then? Yeah, that's not going to work because I'm going to shatter it. I get it. Never mind, I get it.
Watch. Uh-oh. 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 I screwed up. I said watch and I screwed up. But I got it now. I got it now. And then... You... 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 There we go. Not too bad. I wonder... Is this gonna... Like... You know all the rules. Good luck. So, we're going to what? Have, um... I'm, I'm just... I don't know. I'm curious. Like, what do we do? Huh. Did that go too far? Yeah, okay. It goes too far. Is this going to be a big part of the thing from now on? Where's the blue? Oh, way over here. Okay. Is this... This must be something that happens a lot in the future, huh? So if we hit it here, then it goes here. And then we lose because if we hit it here... It's done for. Okay. Hit it like that, 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 that. Yep. Okay. Boom. Not too bad. I think that's enough for now. Let's go. Let's get some fresh air. All right. That was fun. Not really that hard. I kind of agree. There's something I need to talk to you about. You look awfully serious. It's about you and me. Lene, our relationship is kind of difficult. Because we both know our love isn't supposed to be. Next month, you will officially become a teacher of the Lenar Order. A relationship between maiden and teacher is forbidden. And that's why I'm going to stop my training. Are you mad? You can't. I've never been more sure of a decision. Imagining you marrying Van makes me sick to my stomach. You can't give up your dream for me? Don't worry. I'm a man of many dreams. I'll marry you and find something different. What could those other dreams be, I wonder? Oh, a lot of everything. Maybe I'll become a bird breeder, or I'll open my own restaurant. Oh, Timothy. Uh-oh. Yeah, this guy doesn't look like he's going to take that very well. He's going to probably throw a fit. Timothy. New supporters have arrived. They want to speak to Lene. They'll have to wait. Lene is busy. And you over there. How are the new supply routes? We have more and more mouths to feed. Everyone's acting as if nothing happened. Well, maybe nothing happened and I imagined it all. Lene's death? Those huge creatures? Or maybe they really did turn back time and that Gwen. What did he... Glenn, wake up. I've got a problem here. Can you take a look? Y yes, of course. You really have a knack for these things. Is that a requirement when you become a pilot? Not really. It's more like a hobby of mine. Alright. That should have solved the problem. Great. I'll take it from here again. Thank you, Haku. Thank you for supporting us. Sienna saved my life. Where she goes, I follow. Well, most of the time. So be sure to thank her. I'll do that. I can't concentrate on anything. I should go ask Sir Vector about Gwen. And there we go. Man, this story is... Oh. It's been a while since I've played a game with a story this good and this rich. Also, side petition. We need more games with sky armors and other armor-like things. 
Um, Titanfall, for example. Love Titanfall. And now I love this game, too. Completely different games, FPS versus tactical game. But they both have armor, and it just makes the game that much better and more amazing. So I, I have this petition right now. More games with more awesome robot armors that we get into and control. That'd be awesome. Anyways, that's all the time that I have for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me on this channel. It means so much. If you do want to continue supporting me, I ask that you like this video. It helps me out so much. And with that, I will leave you guys with this. May your days be filled with games and your life be filled with fun. Until next time, everyone, have a good one.